choose one, I would make strawberry cheesecake. The one from Dairy Queen is so good. So, you know, I know a little bit about flavors. Um, I'm just gonna try and copy that one and see uh, how it goes. Um, but we're going to be a bit experimental, I think. Yeah. My neighbours, my neighbours uh, were talking about making a cheesecake. Coconut cheesecake. I was in the car saying if I could make any ice cream, I would make strawberry cheesecake. Oh, really? Well, we're not making strawberry cheesecake ice cream, but I was thinking we could make a lime sorbet that would go with their coconut cheesecake. Yeah. If they ever make their coconut cheesecake. Okay. So my lime sorbet is kind of the motivation for them to make the coconut cheesecake. Right. You know what I'm saying? I want coconut cheesecake. That's so why sure. lime? Is is just like a lime and the coconut. You know, it goes good together. combination. Yeah, yeah, we're going over here. Okay. We should go and sort our power out. I don't know if you guys know, but north of the Daintree River, okay, there's no mainline electricity. So you got to use generator. Generator and diesel, diesel. gas. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of pretty annoying. Um, and to run ice cream machines, you need big generators. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Oh, wow, they're so loud! One generator running, maybe two generators running, and then going to go. Okay. Keep your thumb on the button longer. Yay! Oh, and turn the ice cream machine on. Wait, so this is the ice cream machine? This is an artwork. It's actually what we call a gelato machine, which is slightly okay. different. Slightly different to ice cream. It doesn't whip as much air okay. into the ice cream as uh, as an American machine would. So this is an Italian style ice cream machine. So, okay. Um, Italian Italian ice cream is sort of um, yeah definitely denser. Um, there's more of a focus on the real flavors. Okay. Like the fruits and things that go in there. Um, and generally, it's got a little bit less fat than your typical American. There's not much more, uh, not much more to a recipe than than water, sugar, and fruit juice. Awesome. That's really it. There's a couple of different types of sugar that we put in. Yeah. Um, and different sugars have different properties. Mm -hmm. um, you know, some are sweeter uh, than others, and uh, some have uh, what they call antifreeze value. So that's the stuff that actually stops your ice cream from freezing and turning into a solid lump. We're doing just under 100 litres of ice cream a day. Oh, a day? A day. Oh my yeah. God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Quite that's, a bit. That's actually pretty hard to sustain. I'm doing pretty big hours in here, so I'll sort of start at seven in the morning, make as much ice cream as I can, Yeah. head down to the shop and, and help out when, when people are here actually buying stuff, and then mm -hmm. back into the kitchen for the afternoon. So. Um, but today, I'm ahead. I'm good. So yeah. it's kind of just a play day for me and, you know, awesome. fill some requests from the neighbours and things. So, Yay! Yeah. And these are the days that you get to kind of play and, and experiment and come up with new flavours and new combinations and things. So yeah. we can grow like that. Mm -hmm. And then we're just going to pile these lemons into We've got 690 grams. That'll be the fruit component for our recipe. Okay. And then we'll get to the other stuff in, in just a moment. Never made lime until that before. You haven't? Nope. Okay. The recipe I've got is for a lemon sorbet. I'm thinking they're probably going to work, but... So like this? Yeah. Yep. 681 more. It's going to be here a while, eh? Jeez. How do you do this? I'm going to start squeezing. Uh, see if that makes a difference. How much can we get out? Just... It just needed a little bit less. Yeah. All right. One more little step. This is a very slow process. Okay, we made it to eight.
slide that. So we're gonna push it up that way. Oh my god, it's coming out! That's it, you got it? That's fine. And now, extraction button. Just click it. Just click it. And you can help it out with this if you like, as it's coming out. And these ones, there you go. So good. Sweet? So good. Oh, too sweet. Really? Yeah. So sweet. What a difference. So it's amazing, you know? Miracle fruit. So cool. Mmm. Mmm. I already eat that all day. That's really good. Mm. I don't mind a little bit sweet, honestly. Yeah? I prefer it. Cool. Thank you. Awesome. That's awesome. I just made lime sorbet. <laughs> <laughs> so although this place is in the middle of nowhere and it took us two hours to get here from Cairns, it was totally worth it. And I learned so much more about making sorbets and ice cream. I had so much fun making lime sorbet and getting a tour from David. Thank you so much for having me. And make sure to check this place out because this stuff is delicious.